Good afternoon, Covidians, on a slightly overcast Great Yarmouth afternoon this Thursday. First of all, a reminder to anyone who wants to join us in Great Yarmouth, and that is at 2 pm this Saturday, the 3rd, outside James Paget Hospital. There is a Unite demo supporting the NHS, obviously supporting our nurses, doctors and NHS professionals. So please, please be there. Um, I plan to be there. And uh, please turn up and show your support for our nurses and doctors. Um, people who, well, they deserve a pay rise, don't they? They've done so much and for so long uh, they deserve a real pay rise right so that is a bit of a public service announcement now let's go on to some other things shall we first of all england and i really do mean that seriously well done england i am generally no fan of watching football but it was a tonic for everyone in this country i saw those two goals and i watched the whole match and let's hope that uh, saturday whether it's a demo or not doesn't matter because i can still watch it on my mobile phone let's hope we can do as well a eh? maybe even better supporting you all the way england fantastic unfortunately some people seem to have a different idea when it comes to football as my friend uh, Leah put when you boo your own team for highlighting racism and then the other time team or the other team for singing their own national anthem <laughs> I mean really what's it all about Alfie eh? what's it all about what is it all about when you do that yeah, and not only that, um, I expect many of you would have seen the photograph of the, not the photograph, it was a live video feed. So, the, yeah, the video of the uh, German girl. She probably looked, um, I don't know, maybe eight, nine, somewhere around that age. Young enough to be what um, in German we would call a, a girl of that age a Mädchen. Yeah, well, this young mention young girl yeah um was very upset because her team were losing unfortunately and um the uh, the english goals against her team whom she obviously supported dearly and was very proud of um were really quite an upset for her yeah how terrible then that people have been using that image and coming up with some really offensive racist comments i remember i read one somewhere that said you know cry don't forget your parents uh, murdered and frank and booing the national anthem of another country sadly the british disease um not there all the time and I must add, as I just reach for a sip of tea, not there in all of us, by the way. Many people were behaving perfectly reasonable. And they were being sporting fans and they behaved absolutely in a manner that was exemplary. And they showed that um, not everyone in this country is a thug like that but i do get a little bit worried now because um this patriotic thing is just going further and further isn't it with the the patriot song the england tune and everything i just don't want it to get to a stage where the photo on the bottom here that you will see in a moment actually relates a little bit more to the photo the photo on the top yeah i don't want that stage to come but unfortunately well very unfortunately 
it just might, don't you think? Let's hope it never does. Eh? I know those images are quite hard to see. So those are a couple of photos. Um, and another one from John Trickett MP that I caught, I caught on Facebook. And it's very, very good. Um, John Trickett said today on Facebook, Yorkshire Nightingale Hospital is shutting. It cost 27 million and never treated a single COVID-19 patient. This is despite 8,000 COVID-19 patients dying in their family home. For crying out loud, a public inquiry is needed, isn't it? Yeah? I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, take my word for it. It is John Trickett, okay? So, despite that, yeah, I have a feeling they were just opened because the Tories had to look like they were doing something. Yeah, and uh, I don't know how many of their mates they paid even in that as well. Okay, so there's that one, there's that one, and John Trickett again makes a very good point. Uh, UK billionaires, dear old UK billionaires, he posted this 56 minutes ago. Nice one, John. UK billionaires up. 21%. UK billionaire worth up 23%. UK billionaires, and here's the crucial one, pandemic enrichment. Yeah, pandemic enrichment. They are getting very rich out of this. Pandemic enrichment for your UK billionaires is £107 billion. Don't get me into this, but a billion is an amazingly large figure. No person could possibly earn it in numerous lifetimes, numerous thousands of lifetimes. You could not earn a billion pounds, actually earn it. Uh, but uh, John Trickett reminds us that uh, during this time, one million food bank, bank parcels have been handed out to children. Yep, so I think the answer is really quite simple here. As John would say, let us tax the billionaire class. Let's tax a few billionaires, shall we? Not going to happen, is it? Oh, most definitely not going to happen. And I do hope you can get this one, because this one is just how I feel about the Conservatives, and, and we'll always feel about them. There you go. I'll oh, come back, phone. Yep, that's it. They are, well, they're vomit-inducing, really, aren't they? They're vomit-inducing. They make you want to puke. Their lies, their treachery, you know, the whole damn thing, yeah? Hancock, he'll never be investigated, of course not, using private emails in those contacts, using Westminster government private emails in making private contracts, yeah? I'm just going to end on this one, as we um, know that the attacks on our freedom are back with the policing bill that's going to be back on the 5th of July. Don't forget, now you can get up to uh, 10 years in prison for defacing a statue of a slave trader, maybe pushing it in the Manchester Ship Canal or something, and some people will get shorter prison sentences for rape. Remember also that if you're a lone protester, can't protest on your own anymore. You might upset somebody. So again, probably a nice long prison sentence for that. Yeah. But uh, when you're thinking about uh, the oppressed, which I consider to be us, and the oppressors, which I consider to be the billionaire Tory government with their cronies, their friends, their money and their power that run this friendly fascist state remember that Eddie Wiesel said always take size neutrality helps the oppressor never the victim Silences in, silence encourages the tormentor never the tormented I like that that's really good silence encourages the tormentor never the tormented think about that one take sides and if you're in great yarmouth hope to see you at 
James Padgett this Saturday the 3rd, 2pm. Unite, comrades. Unite, and we will win.